It's time for Dr. Laura. I swear she's not gonna bore ya. For sexy advice, you don't have to think twice. Just say you're asking for a friend. Today we're gonna answer a viewer's question about human trafficking versus sex work. Viewer writes in, Dear Dr. McGuire, I heard a recent news story where the victim of a crime was an LGBTQ person and was described as a sex worker. Is this the same as being a victim of human trafficking? Can you please explain the difference? So when we talk about sex work, we're talking about an umbrella of different occupations. The same way we use queer as an umbrella term to describe lesbian and gay and bisexual and transgender and intersex and asexual people, sex work also covers a wide variety of experiences and lenses. These people might be professional prostitutes or strippers, sugar babies. All of those things can fall into that spectrum. And there are many others as well, such as pro doms and cam girls and guys and phone sex workers, they're all sex workers. They're all selling at least the illusion of intimacy, which is an important distinction because this is a professional occupation. This is something that people, for a wide variety of reasons, are choosing to engage in. It might be what makes them genuinely happy and be their calling to go out into the world and spread joy and engagement and connection through sexual activities. It might also be a way that they simply like to pay their bills. The same way someone would be a waitress, a waiter, or a painter, or a teacher. Sometimes it's because they absolutely love it. Sometimes it's because it's the best way that they can make money and make a living for themselves and their family and their community. And sometimes it's both. Now, human trafficking is not sex work, and sex work is not human trafficking. If someone is being trafficked in the sex trade, that means that they are not a willing participant. They are not consenting to be part of that. They are not enjoying it. It is not okay. The same way that we don't want to interchange the terms sex and rape because they're simply not the same thing. It's the same thing with sex work versus human trafficking. If someone is being trafficked, they are not having sex with clients. They are being raped by perpetrators. If someone is engaging in sex work, everybody is a willing participant and are of age and of sound mind and body to make those personal decisions for themselves. Many forms of sex work are really healing modalities, such as sexual surrogates who work directly with sex therapists. And truly all forms of sex work deserve respect. When we see that people in the LGBTQ community are often victims of these crimes, it's very much because of the fact that one, it's very hard as an LGBTQ person, particularly in the trans community, to get reliable work especially when their health care can be prohibitively expensive. So sex work is a great way for them to make ends meet. Additionally, it's a way for them to express themselves, to have a living and have a career that they truly enjoy and allows them to be their authentic selves. But because in the United States, it is illegal to engage in many forms of sex work, and even the legal forms are still greatly looked down on by law enforcement and family courts and other career outlets. Many people have to do this work in the shadows. And what that means is that when they go out and try to seek help because something is unsafe or a client is treating them poorly, unlike if they were a teacher or a bartender, they cannot go up to the police and say, this isn't okay. I need support, I need help, and I need to be protected because they fear repercussions for themselves. This is why making sex work legal is so important, especially for the queer community. I hope this cleared some things up. I hope you continue to support people in the sex work field. And if you are a sex worker, I strongly encourage you to reach out and look into some of the resources that are listed below, many of which I'm actually a personal part of. Advocacy for sex workers is a human rights issue and is an issue for the LGBTQ community 
in particular. Let's all get on the same page with this and make sure our community is a safer and more inclusive one. Like this video? Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that one there. To get more asking for a friend each and every month. Email your queer sex questions anonymously to info at spectrumsouth.com. And don't worry, we know. You're just asking for a friend. Cheers, queers.